So let's start chapter 4 with exercise 4.1. We'll be talking about the borders and shading, basically applying borders and shading to paragraph. And I want you to refer to the images on page number 92 from time to time because it sometimes it's kind of hard to follow the instruction um, so that I want you to look at the, the final outcome. They are displayed in, it's on page number 92. So refer to the final outcome every once in a while to kind of figure it out what the instruction, each instruction is trying to tell you. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and open the file called um, quiz.docx and then name it as a CO4-EO1-quiz and save it in the uh, assignments folder. So first, uh, let's um, center align the, the title. So click anywhere um, on the line and let's go ahead and apply the center alignment. And while the insertion point is somewhere on the line, you can go ahead and click on the, the borders button, click on it. And then let's go ahead and put the, uh, the border, uh, bottom border. And you notice that there's a line under the chapter 10 quiz. So, and then if you want, let's say we're gonna put the uh, border above this line. So let's go back to the, um, the border button and let's click on top border. So you have now both bottom and top border. And then um, let's select the first item, which is uh, number one here. And then you have see sub numbers, items, A, B, C, D. So you click somewhere at the end of manipulated data so click somewhere there and your insertion point is inserted right after letter a so you don't have to be click right there you can click somewhere a little bit after click and hold it down and drag it up all the way to number one so essentially you can click one end and then hold down the button and drag it to the other uh, diagonal end so you can start from there or you can start from Top left corner, hold down the button and drag it diagonally uh, to the end and let go of the button. So now you selected that section and we're going to apply um, the border around it. So let's go back to the, uh, the border button and this time we'll apply the outside border. So go ahead and click on outside the borders and now you notice that um, all four sides uh, has have a border around it all right so you have we have a number two number three and so on all the way to number five so since we will be applying this basically the same uh, formatting you can just select the the lines and then press function four key uh, which is right here on your keyboard it's right here, number uh, F4, that's function four. And um, I'm gonna just press F4 and do the same thing for number three, press F4. Basically you select. So if you somehow accidentally selected uh, this wrong section and then press F4, it will apply only to that section. So you need to be careful in terms of uh, selecting uh, the line. So I'm going to undo that and select the correct uh, lines and then press F4. Oops. Oopsie. Okay. This is what happened. Um, when I press the F4, it just repeated what I did last time. So I'm going to undo it. And then I'm, I have to do it all from the beginning. So select the entire number four and I click on that so this time I don't have to go all the way click on the border button and then click on the all border because it is already used so it's up here so I can just go ahead and click that and then it, it applies 
let me finish number four number five I'm gonna go back again uh, function four there so you put the borders around the items all right so let's see we want to move on to the second half which is a uh, exercise 4.1b and we'll apply shading so let's go back and we'll do shading and so I'm gonna select some air so click go ahead and click on some air in the chapter 10 quiz you can highlight the whole thing or put the insertion point some air there and then we'll put some kind of a shading here and you may remember from the earlier chapter we have a, this highlighter uh, text highlight so if you click on it or they click on the button and you'll see this set of colors so you'll notice that that's very limited because that's just a highlighter actually the shading is not that one in fact it is over here the one that looks like a paint bucket and then click on the paint bucket button and then you can hover over this set of colors that is a theme colors if you want something from standard colors it's right here and you have it's about uh, 10 colors so these are standard colors and these are theme colors and you can click on more and you can have a more refined uh, color choice of your ch your selection like that or you can even put uh, RGB color settings so anyway so let me go ahead and cancel this and make sure that I still have a chapter 3 quiz line somewhere selected and I'm gonna go ahead and click on this um, paint bucket the shading button and then go to the last column so the text will tell you something like uh, okay pick uh, green let's say green accent six lighter 40 percent so you may wonder what is that so basically that means a theme color so whenever you have their very uh, certain percentage and that sort of kind of things that means theme color so go over here there's a green and uh, don't click yet just uh, hover over and you will see green and then the you will see accent number and then the shade percentage so text will tell you apply green um, accent 6 lighter 40 percent so you'll see that by just pointing at it without clicking that's called hovering and go ahead and once you get that go ahead and click on it and then the, the entire line gets the, the shade all right so let's go to number one so again click somewhere on click somewhere on number one the insertion point is blinking and let's go back uh, click on the shade button and this time um, let's apply something a little bit lighter so like a green I'm just hover over it green accent 6 lighter for uh, 60 percent not 40 percent this time 60 percent so it's a little bit lighter see that all right so since we have we're going to keep the same formatting just uh, select number two press f4 click somewhere number three press f4 number four press f4 and number five again press f5 i'm sorry f4 so you have the shading applied and let's go ahead and save this and let's see oh yeah in terms of uh, picking the right color the textbook will may tell you uh, pick a theme color let's say one two three four five the fifth column and third row one two three so that is fifth column third row that is blue accent one lighter 40 percent that's basically what it is okay 
So in textbook, we may uh, tell you the color by the number of columns and the number of rows, or the uh, color name and accent number and percentage and so on. Okay, so that's it for exercise one.